times with four, so if you have eight set of four, then that's 40 people, right? Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Uh, is that correct? No, what is that? That's four. Eight set of five is 40. Yeah. Eight set of four would be 36. 32. 32, 32. 32. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can talk. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> okay. But yo, let's say you have five. I said shit. So you could do that same exact drill and one person weaving in. Okay. Right? Yeah, you yeah. can add an extra one there. Right, right. So, so here my job is to weave. My job here is to do straight punches. My job here is to do hooks. My job is uppercuts and then freestyle. And then you could do like 30 seconds a portion or a minute a portion for five minute rounds or just go straight to that cycle of what we talked about and I'll mention it for the camera where you know you say, go to your right. And they go here. And go to your right. They go here. Go left. Back over here. Go left. Yeah, because you can there call you. any direction yep. and go going. And you're just doing that while everyone else is working. Right, right. So right. That's, that's one station. You can either make it the four or that. Um, and then come over here where you can incorporate the weight. I'll just show you, like, just trying to show you as much of what I incorporate. Um, so let's say we're doing, like, a four-minute, five-minute round. Then uh, you could do, like, a set of 15 here, lap pull-downs. One person here. You could have... One person here doing the step ups, like you know, or what I like is maybe like a set of 15 in here mm -hmm. of that one, or you can do the blue bridge off the uh, side. Then you can have this popped up and be doing uh, incline dumbbell presses, right? And then you can be doing Australian pull ups right here. And so you got one, two, three, four, and then for five, if you want to do five, before you do that five, I would um, grab a kettlebell and do squat upright row right here because that way you just get them in that sack yeah yeah, yeah. or hell that you can throw a speed bag in for five yeah you know what i mean yeah yeah just some extra so with with that there's a lot of <clears throat> instruction probably reminding people what we're doing yeah here would you write write it down on a board yeah. just leave it on and yo sorry okay come on here so you right you you cool being a videographer oh yes sir cool but yo so i got like these here and we got more of those in the back on that shelf back there. So you could write them out on that. You know, if you felt like you needed to. Yeah. And like put that card there, boom, boom, boom. Gotcha. That's something that I think could be really beneficial. Uh, so that, that's one way. So like I said, the lap pull, the incline push up on that or glute bridge off of that or high knees, speed bag. If you wanted to do the incline press, I would put the incline press bench here and then have your dumbbells here that are like, you know, 10s to 15s to 20s. You have 10 to 20s. And then the Australian pull-ups and here, well, like I said, you could sub out one of those for the kettlebell uh, sure. squat upright row or sprawl upright row. And yeah, and they cycle through that either sets of reps or mi or minutes and Five minute round, one minute each. Yeah, you could do that. Five yeah, five minute round, one minute each. Or you could do they're just in charge of themselves and they do a certain amount of repetitions, okay. right? So 15, 15, let's say, um, 15, that goes, you run that till the next one opens up, mm -hmm. you know, it's indeterminate. Uh, you can do that, yep, or you can do 30 seconds of pop too. Mm -hmm. You know, that might be hard in this area, but it could almost get that. Um, yeah, and so that's one. Then another one that I'm rocking over here, uh, you could do, you could do like a ladder or the hurdles down, something here on the bag. You could do that. Um, ooh, let me show you. Let me show you what. Here we go. If you want to like incorporate a lot of things, you could rock like both shoe ball squats here. Mm -hmm. It's like indeterminate length. Then like leg curls here. Leg extensions, you got one, two, three. Leg press, you got four. And then you could rock box jumps here for five. So one, two, three, four, five. Yep. Um, or like set up another indeterminate, maybe a set of box jumps. It's just like three hurdles laid out for them to go lateral until the next one opens up. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Or if you're doing just mint with like a minute, then it's just a minute, right? But yeah, so I'm here just going nonstop until the next one opens up. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of splice anything you want into that. Um, or a plank, you know, or a squat hold. Um, so yeah, 
Does that make sense? Yeah. Cool. So then you got that one. Um, and then you could do basically that one over here. And let's get a tip of that one just so you got it. Um, what I was going to run today is weaving down one, two, one, two, five, one, two, five, four, one, two, five, four, three, one, two, five, four, three, six. And then here, Bob, here, Bob, here, Bob. And halfway through, you can tell them to change directions. So if you're doing yeah. a five-minute okay. round, like two minutes, 30 seconds into it, I'll have them change directions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or if it's like a four-minute round, if you have four, people, uh, four you know, minute stations. Um, yeah, or you could run through the whole thing one way and then run through it again with some variations. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I do that. Yeah, it doesn't hurt to do it twice. Uh, so you have that. Over here, like, you know, like everyone knows, you got like indiscriminate, like ball slamming type stuff they could be doing, different ball exercises. Um, I would occupy this space with either like dumbbell punches, some type of ball slam, uh, and that's about it. And then here, you could have a combo per station. I've done that and I've used those white cards and I've laid out like a combo here, a combo there, and kind of keep it simple. Combo there, combo there. And then, you know, you switch them every minute or every whatever. Um, and then uh, that would be a four. That would be a set of four. You rock five on that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it would be one, two, three, uh, and then four is on here mixing in a combo with double cuts and then back to here. And then that way, you have this cycle of five. So you have a cycle of five going here, cycle of five. So you got boom, boom, 10. Then you got uh, five here, you got 15. Then you got um, 20 there. You got 25 here. You could possibly do 30 right there, or up in the ring and then add something on the side. But that, that's gonna be a small number. That's one problem. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because we want to be able to hold like 40. It's almost like I need you like get nuggets. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I can still, I can still have. Uh, well, it's gonna be five people here no matter what. You think it might be more? Yeah. Let's say. Mm -hmm. So there, so I don't. Have, it's not different stations. It's ten people on these back or whatever. Yeah. It's like ten people here. There could be ten yeah. people in the ring. Oh, exactly. Ten people here. Oh, exactly. Whatever, you know. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, of course. No, of course. Of course. I was thinking with that model. Yeah, with that. Uh, yeah, with that model. I mean, yeah. <clears throat> how to how to incorporate that if I need to. Different breakups. Yeah. 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 So one breakup. Another way to break up the room is. Uh, well, you told me like yeah, but it was just like over the elevator. But um, another breakup I'll do is like in front of the mirror. There's uh -huh. a group. You know, and like you do, like sides of the ring, which is awesome. So go like front of the mirror is a group, ring is a group, um, then these two racks are a group, mm. and then like, you know, either the floor is a group, or this is a group of something, uh, and then like group. And you know, that way, like, you know, you can do like 12 people a group. Um, you know, another cycle here, you can go by Eric too. What's up, Eric? What's up, Eric? So check it out, another one, since I'm up to the session, um, another one that I'll do over here for the black bags is, uh, tell me if you know this one. And this could be a group of, this could be a group of five. This is actually a way that you can squeeze in a whole bunch of fibers. Because that's a lot of space for five people, or can be. Um, and then it ends up being four of them. But, I'll, I'll put it back there if I want a lot of space. How can we do that? Put it back here because I want a lot of space. Uh, here. So you do Ollie here, let's say. Yeah. Then they come through here. Boom. Maybe there's no rope, maybe there is. One, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, six. Yeah. Bam. And halfway through they switch directions. Yeah. Um, and then you're passing someone slow. So that way you could rock. You know, like five people here, you do five people doing some type of floor thing here. Yeah, right? Yeah. So boom, boom. And then you have like five people here, five people doing some waist stuff, five people here. And remember, you could do five here doing suicides. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So you could do like two groups running, like let's say you have four or five, 
you know, two or three run down back switch. And that's something you know about, right? In that back corner, I'll do suicide, right? Told you about that. Um, yep. So what I'll do is when I'm doing my groups of like fives and fours, yeah. Is uh, I'll have I'll have the suicide start here. Yeah. You're gonna be fine, Eric. Don't worry about it. Totally <laughs> fine. But you know, like, so I have my suicide set up almost all the way down, and like, if you and I and then Trey and then Eric are on this group. You and I both run suicide still completion while the other group chills, and then next back and forth. You go over five minutes, so you get multiple sets, right? Um, so that's one way you can use this space. So hell, you can have like ball slammers here or dumbbell shadow boxers. You can have suiciders here, running down and through, and then so let's say let's stick with the five for fun. So five here, five or four here, so ten. Then you got like fifteen people here. Uh, you got twenty people here. You got. 25 people there, you got 30 people there, you got 35 people here, you got 40 people maybe doing something over here, either ball sands or dumbbells or whatever, you got maybe another five that could be here, and you got another five that could be in the ring. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, yo, I showed Chandler this one thing, I don't know if you've seen it, but I showed it to you, but uh, I know she's used to it. It's something from the old gym you might remember, and I forgot about it for a long time, but it's this. It's Right for you to see too. But yeah. yeah. So I'll hook, wrap around a couple of times so it just it cinches, and then pull this down, connect it. And this way I can cordon off the ring to actually do multiple stations too. Oh, mm. Okay. So yeah. yo, check this out. So and since we don't have weaving downstairs right now on the on the like obstacle course, you could do weaving here now. And so I'll do it like this. And then if you wrap that, you know, do it as tight as you can. And then from there, I'll wrap around here. Boom. And if it's low, mine's a little crooked, but maybe ideally I would have it about this distance. That's a little far there. But yeah, so real deep weaving down, hard on the legs, all the way down. Here, they get to the end, bear crawl back. All right? Okay. So right here, one do it again. And so you could be running that. How many people would you put? That would be two. Just two. That would be two. It would make too crowded. But yo, you could make this whole thing a thing. So right, so let's say uh weaving down, bear crawl back, walking lunge down, mm -hmm. okay? And then you could do like you could put cones up there, do a zigzag, you could do um like a lateral shuffle, or you could do another bear crawl. That might be okay. So like yeah, weave down, uh, weave down, bear crawl back, walking lunge up here, and then bear crawl back around. And then what's hard, the only thing that's challenging about that is coming back around. the coming back around yeah. part's hard. Yeah. But so what I would do, and this is what I showed Chandler, is um, if they could spend, you could do this, they could spend like a minute on each or um, something along those lines of, let's say, again, let's say you had that group of five, right? So you had... Two people here, right? One person weaving down, bear crawl back over and over again. Let's say you had you could you could maybe do three. Three could happen here. You could do three. Then you have another group here doing the walk and lunge, right? Maybe let's say down and back, or dumbbell like jab down, yeah. jab back, yeah. core work here, and like halfway through the round, just have them switch. It's like you all in the ring, and this is where you're gonna be for five minutes. Halfway through, you guys gonna switch. Um, could do that. But to make this a, a quadrant of three stations in one ring, two people a station, you would do that, weave down, bear crawl back. I would do walking lunge down and back right here, because it's tight. And then I could do jab down, orthodox jab back down southpaw, or core work. Or partnered up both with gloves, doing like a one, two, hook, hook, flip, flip, weave, weave. So <clears throat> when you do that particular one, I like that one a lot. Yeah. And I like to plug that in more. Yes. Um, so uh, both partners have gloves. We're, we're doing like one, two, three, we hook yeah, yeah, so we so yeah. that kind of thing. You, you do that for a minute and switch, or a minute and a half. What seems like an ideal time to do that before, before it's too much? If I was doing like what we're talking about, I would just have them go back and forth. Or just trade off. Trade off. For three minutes? 
or five minutes. It could be five. It could be five. Yeah, it could be three or five because there's enough trade-off, right? Yeah. But yeah, it's like so basically, so so slip, 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 weave, weave, and these are one, slip, two, weave. Wait, yeah, and we can do that a long, a long time. time. Okay. Remember, people get tired, but some people can rock that out. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I, I, that one, I just want to do it for 10 minutes or 8 minutes. Yeah, I'll do it for like max 5. Max 5. Okay. Max 5. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you can make that happen. But like 3, definitely. Like, it's engaging enough. And some people are going to take, they're going to take 3 minutes to get it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. No, I really like that one. I, I just wasn't sure. Not the ideal time. Now, yo, another one you could do, I can't remember if it was you or Chandler or someone else I saw doing this one in a circuit uh, this week, but um, was uh, one you could do here too, both with gloves. One partner just holds their gloves out for like 10 uppercuts, 10 yeah. crossing straights, yeah. Yeah. 10 weaves. Yeah, yeah. And then I go, 10 uppercuts, 10 crossing shots on the hands, 10 weaves. Yeah. You go back, boy, you run that for five minutes. Yeah. I know, yeah, I know Maura does that a lot. Yeah, she does? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, that's, that's a good brutal. Cool. I like that one. I got that's a brutal one too. We well, got video. Got video. I got video. <laughs> um, so that's another one. You know the X pattern up here. Yo, so you know how I'll run X's, how I ran X's uh, Wednesday. Um, just like thoughts. So like you know, you, you know the switch of direction. But what I what I've like doing recently is um, everyone has dumbbells. Yeah. So they'll do the the switch direction thing the first round. Second round they'll do freestyle and they'll just all be like, you know, incorporate the rope, you know, so be doing your stuff freestyle around the ring and incorporate the X cross, okay. you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's just on your own. Yeah. Then the last round, they still got the small dumbbells, I'll have them do like some type of core work with them, you know, like the 10 V ups, like uh -huh. 30 Russian twists uh -huh. or something. Yep. And, and that way I got three rounds and they're here. You got a big group. Got it. Um, another thing, just to jive on like how many things you can do with that, as far as like what I've done is, let's say like with the X's, so one round you do the X's of movement, and let's say they have a small dumbbell. Next round, let's say you do shadow boxing freestyle. Round number three, let's say you do something specific, like they do 10 weaves, you've done this in the old gym, 10 weaves uh, orthodox, 10 weaves south ball, mm -hmm. and then like 10 push-ups. Mm -hmm. And then the last round you have to do a core exercise. So there you got four rounds. That's another thing to think about. Um, or hell, even do like one or two or three rounds of like, Full body things up here like boxing specific or slip rope specific with the, with the X ropes, and then do like a few rounds of this one type of core thing, one type of core thing, and you do like six rounds up in the ring. You know what I mean? Uh, so if you had to like split, split up everyone in like your three groups, let's say, it was like pretty big. Um, so that's another one. One thing we want to avoid doing it sucks, but they complain about anytime. Anyone like wall balls over here? They complain about it. So mm. right. Yeah. yeah. So make sure you don't wall ball. Yeah. Um, depending what I do with over here, maybe we might might maybe do some wall balls there sometimes. So let's think about that. Or point. you could do the um. Or you could do bounces off the uh off the post there. Yeah. Yeah. I know Tim. Tim's had me do that before. The, like like off the. Yeah. But it's hard with a specific group though. Yeah. If you had eight people, it's hard to get them around posts. If like one that's or true. two, yes. Yeah. But yeah, that oh, that's one thing. Yeah. That's a good one. But yeah, so let's say you're doing like, because dude, I've done insanely huge circuits of two people at station. So let's say you're doing that. You could, you know, incorporate in there, but like you were saying, like Tim does, you could do it for like a station here. There's one person with the ball here, bouncing off right there. That's a good one. Definitely. Um, are you pretty familiar with some of the stuff you do with PRX? No. Okay, let's talk about some things. That's something you can incorporate right here. Maybe if you want to do, like, somehow plug in some six people station type stuff. Or just okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. So, yeah, we've done some stuff, yeah. So, yeah, let me just show you kind of, like, an easy repertoire that I do of different things. So, you have, like, the single leg pistol squats. Yep. You do that one alternating or a certain number. Yep. Um, another one that I really like a lot. Because your boxing is everything's extensors, right? Mm -hmm. So working the back end is wise. Uh -huh. So arms totally straight yep. here, and just make sure people don't hip it. Gotcha. And totally stiff wise, and then if I want to make it harder, put my feet more forward. But yeah, you can also do the rows here. But let's say you're doing like the circuit I described earlier that incorporates the Australians, then you wouldn't want to do that here. So that's another something you, something you can do is the whys. Another one, you know, is you can do the opposite of that, you can do the flies. Ooh. So here, yep. Yep. boom. Um, 
And then, and just depending on like how those bags go. Remember, someone said those bags maybe get hit in the butt. Yeah. Um, there's that one, and then a whole another one. So those are the ones I'll stick with. One that I'll do for personal clients, but you could maybe plug it in, is where you put your feet in and uh -huh. your knee tuck. Yeah, yeah. So that's a good one. Yeah. But sometimes setup can be hard on that. So you just yeah, want enough time. Instruction and stuff on that. Yeah. But the Ys, the rows, the yeah. single leg pistol squats, I think are all good ones on that one. Okay, here's a question. What's up? Uh, I I had in my mind people trading off. You know, we were talking about trading off a six foot three. Yeah, that kind of thing. I had uh, an idea of people trading off combos. Let's say classic combo, okay. but without having to do the pads and the mitts and the switch. Yeah, can they just use their gloves fine. and go and say, I "Hey, everybody, you remember how we used the gloves? Yeah. Just do, you know, we're yeah. not going to hit each other, but just one, one, two, I three, think two. Fine. Is that if that's yeah. okay? I can add a whole bunch of stuff. Yep. We, we trade off combos. Cool. Yeah, no, I think that's fine. And you know what's cool about that? Let me tell you about trading off. Just think about it. It's like whole oh, figure for classic. So if I'm like one, one, two, three, two, one, one. What arm am I working a lot? Uh, my arm, I work a lot. You're working that left. I'm working my left a lot. What yeah. arm are you working a lot? I'm working my right a lot. Mm. So it's cool because then if we trade it off and then yeah. I hold for you on it, it's like you know what I mean. You're right, so that and would then open they're getting up their, a yeah. whole world of possibilities. No, I'm cool with that. We wouldn't have to fool around with all the. Books. No, I'm definitely cool with that. I only want like to do the mid thing when we do like a specific combo as right. a group. Right. That's the only time I want to do the mid thing specifically. But you know, it's like outside, I'll have people do tech cross and punches for downstairs. Right. 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 So, right. This is close. Um, so yeah, and that's a good one. So cool. That opens up a lot of possibilities. Um, yo, let me throw this out to you. I do this with my partners, and I also have done it for other groups. But just, you're not stuck to this, you know? This could be other places. Have you kind of thought about that, maybe? So, I've just done the, the, the battle ropes type stuff. So let me show you some things I'll do with this. Okay. So if I'm doing a gigantic obstacle course, I might, so let me show you a couple things. Let me show you the first thing I'm gonna show you. So one is that you can do the battling rope stuff here. 